Hello guys and welcome to the first ever episode of Bobby Drives. Today I'm going to be reviewing my own beloved 330 diesel M Sport. Had it for over a year, can't get my angles right, just like that. Had it for over a year, it's done me really good. It's a beautiful car and I'm going to show you why I really like it. Starting with the nice red levers. Excuse the train behind me, it's the first take and I'm just going to roll with it. But uh, you've got nice big black 19 inch wheels which was sprayed by Bentley believe it or not and uh, it's got a nice grey paint to it what I really do like is that you do have the shadow line and not the chrome as you'd get in the SE specs if you are going to buy a BMW make sure it's M Sport preferably the facelift as well you do get a much better engine uh, going right to the front lights you do have obviously the new white angel lights with this nice italic here on the side you, they're not on right now but these light up all amber giving that real European look some people do say that these elephant looking wing mirrors are hideous now I I don't actually mind them gives us a better view keeps us safer and really sets the car off from the non facelift it did need a change so uh this actually does offer that change. One thing you will notice from the inside is that you do actually have the updated pedal shifts. Previously, the left and the right both went up and down gears, causing a lot of confliction and confusion. Nowadays, from the facelift, they've actually made it that this one only goes down gears, this one only goes up gears, which I think is the way it should be done, more like the F1 Formula ways. Six speed automatic, you've got your iDrive system, your infotainment screen, which is off right now. You're dual climate control with heated seats and yes your lovely red leather seats you do obviously have all the electric seats excuse that bell means my keys to the car you've got the lumbar support I really should have given the car clean Hi but guys, hey so i'll give you a quick view over the engine bay so this as stock is a three liter straight six Single turbo, as mentioned before, running 245 brake horsepower with 393 pounds of torque. Now, the funny thing is, I'm not sure if the chap who owned the car before me has actually remapped it because seriously, this car does actually fly. For a diesel, I never expected the diesel to be this fast. I mean, I took it for a test drive thinking, mm, it might be okay. When I put my foot down, I actually said, you know what, I'm buying it. It does the speed as uh, we all like. So, yeah, it's been very well looked after. I gave it a little clean recently, just to kind of freshen it up. But that's the engine. One of my life hacks, by the way. Last week I curbed my wheel. And you can see it just, just there. Just there. Now, luckily, my wheels are black. So I got a black permanent marker. And I went right over it. It looks brand new. Can't even tell the difference. Now, guys, just telling you a bit more about the outside. So, currently running these 19 inch wheels. They are sitting on Continental Sport. Conti Sport Contact, give a really good ride, really firm, sticks to the ground. The front, I'm actually running Dunlop Sports RTs, I think they're brilliant tiles, got a really flat profile on the bottom, and uh, it's just a shame I actually couldn't get them for the back, the size that I needed. So, had to brake this change recently, had the calipers done, and the brake pads, cost quite a bit, but when you've got a car like this, you need to be braking as fast as you actually go. They didn't make sense, but I'm just gonna let it roll, forget it. Anyway, so, let me just tell you i love this car before this i had an e46 m3 this is a 330 diesel it's got an n57 engine which basically means it's got a bit more power it runs at the moment 245 brake horsepower with 393 pounds of torque did you know that's more torque than an m5 and an m6 the e63 shape i mean that is a lot of power for a 330 diesel but my point was going back to the m3 that i had before this i think this car will give it a darn good race Excuse the trains going in the background. Nothing you could do about that really, but let's get inside. Now, let's give it a little start if it does want to start. There you go. Got the red lever, sets off the scene quite well, quite nice. It's automatic. The nice thing is I've got the pedal shifts there. And again, before you uh, bought a facelift, the left pedal will go up and down. And the right one would go up and down. Didn't make much sense to me. It was quite easy though, it's quite comfort, as in easy access back and forth, but really you want to be left is minus, right is plus, and this does it. So I'm really glad this has got the updated pedal shifts. Six speed automatic. 
Oh, let me not forget how good it is on fuel. I get 36 miles per gallon. And uh, I do do a bit of motorway driving, but I do push it as well to get the DPF filter cleaned. So guys, that was my first review on Bobby's Drives. It is my first one, so just bear with me. Uh, but I wanted to share my car with you. I really love it. Truth is, I'm a big car fanatic. I watch cars every day, like Carwell, LOF, uh, Yanni Mize, Doug DeMauro. And it's been something that I've been wanting to do for ages. So um, I'm sharing with you guys. Just like I said, bear with me. They will get better. They will become cooler cars. And uh, I'll get a better camera with a tripod, which actually works. But on that note, hit the subscribe button and the likes, and you'll be seeing more videos soon. See ya.